Hey guys, Double Jack here, and we have finally bookended the Stardust Crusaders characters for Rise of Heaven. Uh, we started with Jotaro, of course, being the flagship main character that everyone knows and loves. And up until now, we had loads of different characters, even some new characters. And we finally ended it, we finally bookended it with the last two characters we needed. Vanilla Ice and, of course, Part 3 Dio. We have all three Dio's now in Eyes of Heaven, which is pretty damn good. Uh, if we look at the scan itself, we can see that there's not much info, but we, we know the basics of both Dio and Vanilla Ice. We know how Cream and the World work. I would like to see how it would work, actually in the battle how they're going to do the time stopping because since it's a tag battle I mean you're going to have two characters if you stop time you're kind of hindering uh, your partner character hopefully that's if it does do that then I hope they find a way around that um, same thing for Cream as well, I would kind of like to see how fast you can really go when you actually go inside Cream, yeah that sounds weird also that sounds even weird saying Cream um, and then fly around the uh, area and stuff like that. All we know is that you can uh, you can engulf uh, yourself and fly around, uh, or you can actually use them to take apart characters. Well, not take them apart. I mean that's a bit too realistic. But you know you can do a lot of damage. Surprise attacking them. Possibly as a final attack, it'll be exactly the same from uh, All Star Battle. So I'm looking forward to that. That'll be cool. Uh, it, I'm, I'm really hoping, the things I'm kind of hoping for these characters is for the fact with Vanilla Ice, I'm hoping that with Cream you'll be able to engulf, for example, throwable objects, or um, maybe you're going to engulf uh, chests and kind of items and stuff like that. Maybe if you hit an opponent with a certain attack, you know, they lose an item, like certain support characters like Joseph, or maybe even Speedwagon as well. Uh, with Dio himself, of course, you'll be able to stop, stop time, uh, you can move around. How good would that look online if you managed, they had like a time gauge or something, um, and you managed to get to a point where you can actually stop everybody, and like on your screen, Dio's still in like the same place, and you're kind of frozen for a bit, and the next thing you know, you're losing health, you're like, what's going on? And then the time gauge kind of starts again, and you're like on the floor five steps back or whatever and Dio's just standing there above you. I mean, stuff like that would be too crazy. Um, of course we have the uh, cover art again. They're saying like, oh, here's the cover art because a lot of people don't buy V-Jump. V-Jump's monthly and it's mostly aimed at children over this jump, which is aimed at everybody. Uh, which everybody reads, uh, which weekly jump. We also see the story mode. We've got one more kind of thing about it. We can see Kakuin standing next to Undul, and Kakuin has come back from the dead also uh, to fight against uh, Jotaro, Joseph, and Polnareff. Um, okay, so I like the idea of that, but the story mode's slowly coming out, but I really hope that they're going to throw more story mode our way. They seem to be getting up the characters and the, the most minuscule of the information first, and then later they're going to hit us with like all the hard facts and everything's going to go crazy like hopefully once they just get out all the characters I mean it, it, it's up to Shueisha and what's going on but yeah so far this scan's pretty cool we finally got that Stardust Crusaders characters done so we can see more characters coming uh, we've made they've made a start on part 5 so we're gonna see a few more part 5 characters then we're gonna go into part 6 part 7 possibly that way or it's gonna be like like um, All Star Battle is where they just kind of like throw out characters here and there and then eventually they start doing the last bosses uh, near the end. So anyway, uh, how do you feel about this scan? Is anything pretty cool about it? Uh, anything that you dislike? Is the story mode kind of too slow? Are the characters coming out a bit too slow? Would you like to see more characters in one scan? Well, I hope you so blah 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 words. Uh, say in the comment section, just write down how you feel about it. As always, I'll be here to talk about Eyes of Heaven.